Hi, on this video we're going to be learning about a different kind of arrays, associative arrays. These arrays are arrays that don't need to be ordered like the ones that we already did. These arrays can be called by name, we can refer to it by names, by labels. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, I'm going to show you right now immediately how we do this. So let's go ahead and open our co-editors. And for those of you that don't know where we are, remember that we are in localhost, demo, and here on this root directory, okay? This is what we're doing right here. And this is right here in my co-editor. All right, so I'm just going to minimize this. And let's do a save as like we always do in a blank.html. Not blank.html, blank.php. <laughs> I don't know why I don't get used to it. I don't even use HTML. But anyways, so we're going to call this arrays A-S-S-O-C for associative. I don't want to write the whole thing, all right? So let's open up our PHP tags, and let's go ahead and jump right to it. We know that the regular arrays are defined like this. We have a variable right here, and then we can go ahead and write an array like this here, right? We know that. And this becomes an array, a regular array. We can put some values in here saying something like maybe, uh, let's just put some numbers in here, 10, 20, 45. Well, actually that's 49. And then we can go ahead and echo it like this. We refer to it like this, number, with some square brackets in here and if I want to print out this number here I just say 20 right and we go and we see this on the browser and see oh actually I got a mistake right here make sure we fix that alright on the find 20 offset of course we need to there we go alright so we know that we can print out the values of an array like this, all right? All right, this is a normal array. Let's make an associative array, and you're going to see the difference immediately. Let me just put a break tag right here, so that way when, I, when we echo the next array, it will be on the next line. So let me show you what an associative array is. Let's call this names, all right? And very simple. We're going to create the same keyword here, and we're using the old version of writing this, all right? We can use the shorthand version like this, remember that, like this. But just for illustration purposes only, I want to write it like this, that way you know this is, this is an array, all right? So, an, an associative array has labels. We know that the first value here is in something called an index. This index is 0, this one is 1, and this one is 2, depending on the values that you got here. We start from 0, and we end on whatever amount, whatever values we got here, right? We got 20 values, we will end on that 20 values. And this is called, we know that this is called 0, so this needs to be in order. In order for me to print this out on the screen, I need to remember where, where this is and what spot this is. I'm, right now we're printing out the third value, 0, 1, and 2, right here. So I need to remember that this is in that spot right there for me to print it. Imagine if I have a thousand values inside this array. How am I going to remember where that specific value is? Right? And let's say, for example, these were names. So if, let's say this was Jose here, and this was, I don't know, Maria. And this was Juanita. I don't know where I got all these names. I think I Mexico or something. All right. So if I have all these names here, imagine if I got a thousand names and I want to go ahead and print print out one of them. And I say, okay, Jose, I think is in spot number one thousand on index one thousand. That would be crazy, right? Well, associative arrays are gonna help us out. You see, we need these arrays in certain occasions, but 
for when when labeling your data inside an array is important, you need associative arrays. When you don't care about the order of your data inside the array, then you can use the normal arrays, right? But right now we care about the data. I want to be able to find data inside my arrays by label. For example, if I have a list of names, I want to be able to find it in here. So I'm going to call this first name. Look at that. So this is going to be the index, index 0 compared to index 0 right here. But the only thing is that index 0, we're not showing it right here. I'm going to show it to you right now in the browser and in the print R structure. So that way you can get the better idea. But right here, we are replacing index 0 by this label. This is called the key first name. And then we assign it a value like this. We use this equal and the greater than symbol, and we assign it whatever value we want. For example, I want this value to be name Edwin. All right? So if I show you this on the screen right now, I'm not going to do an echo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do print R just to show you. All right? And let me see right here. All right. Let me show you the top one too. Let me just comment this out and let's do the print R also on here. Print R. This is a really good thing because now we can refer to our data inside by name instead of by, by numbers. All right, so I have this array here on top. This is a regular array, by the way. All right. Let me put that break so that way you can see the difference. All right. Right here. All right. So now we have two arrays on one on each line. All right. So this zero that you see here is the key of the normal array. And right now what we did with associate array, this is the associate array. This is the second one. We changed this key of zero. We change it to first name. You can see they basically the same. We got a little arrow here, and we got a little arrow here. But this little arrow in the normal array, we can't see it through here. All right? We can't see it. But if we use the print R function, we can see that they both are the same. The only difference that we're doing, the only different thing that we're doing is that we're changing the name of this key right here. This is called the key, and this is called the value. So we are changing the name of the key, the, the value of the key, right? Right here, this, 0, for a word, first name. And then we are referring to the value right here. And we're using this whole structure, just like you see here in the back, right? Because this is, this is something that is not available for regular people. If I don't use the printout function, if I just echo it, you won't be able to see that. So we are using the whole structure here. We're changing the index 0 for the first name label. So now we can refer to this by label. For example, if I want to echo this now, if I say echo, I just use names. And in between brackets here, I just say first name. Right here, look at this. First name. And I can refer to that value immediately. You see it right here, it says Edwin. Let me just take out the print R function out. And you can you can see that we can refer to the value in this in inside the associated array by a label. So if I have a thousand lines of data inside here, I can say, you know what, I need the first name. And you can get the first name of that per specific person. All right? You can get the last name. We can also make another one here. And what we have to do is remember we separate it by a comma. This is the same thing as a as a regular array. We separate by a comma. All right. And then we go ahead and write down again, for example, last name here. Let's just do underscore. And then we use the little equal and the greater than symbol and we put the name the value here and say ds right 
And all I have to do here if I want to print that out is that I go ahead and write this down here, names. And then last name. Right? Let's put a little space right here. And we are concatenating that. Remember that we, we put things together with this dot. And this is a string. This is a space that I'm putting right here. And as you can see here, we were able to use labels to get our data out of this array. A lot simpler than using indexes. They're using numbers. Using little, as you can see here, using this numbers. If I want to refer to a regular data inside an array, I will have to use numbers like number zero. And as you can see here, for that, for Juanita, I get Juanita when I put zero. And again, if you imagine if I have a thousand lines like this, I will have to write, oh yeah, I remember line 700. I had uh, a name, uh, John was there, or Peter was in 701. That would be very confusing. Of course, this is going to give me a error here because I don't have number index 701 but if I did um, it would print it out but you can see where we can use associative array now we can refer to a data by labels instead of by numbers and so that way it's going to be a lot easier to remember we got more uses for this but anyways I just wanted to give you a little introduction on associative arrays here that way you don't miss out on them because they are very important and you're going to be learning about them throughout your programming career. Thank you again for watching this lecture. And hopefully you were able to get some valuable information. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.